Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have another very beautiful problem for you guys today. Um, kind of running out of adjectives to describe the problems. Um, but this is a this is a pretty nice one. So um, found it on the art of problem solving form as usual. Um, and one poster attributed it to another poster, Virgil Nicola, who posts a lot of very good problems. Um, so if you'd like to try it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so now I'm gonna go over it. So we have a triangle ABC um, where O is the circumcircle. Um, A prime is the midpoint of arc BC not containing A. Um, let I be any point on A A prime. Uh, let BI meet the circle at B prime, CI, let it meet it at C prime. Uh, let A prime B prime meet side AC at M and let A prime C prime meet side AB at N. And we want to show that MN is parallel to BC. So if you guys remember a while back, I did a video um, on a very simple application of the cross ratio. Um, so once I applied that principle of the cross ratio, the problem was solved very easily. So I'm going to do something very similar with this problem, but with Pascal's theorem instead. Um, so this is, if you know Pascal's theorem, this problem is probably very simple. Um, and you would think, why would I post such an easy problem on this channel? But if you don't know Pascal's theorem, this will be a good introduction uh, for you. So I personally, I'm, I'm just getting used to using Pascal's theorem. It looks kind of scary at first, but it, it, it gets kind of fun uh, once you start getting used to it. Um, so this problem will hopefully um, give you a good introduction. Okay. So with this kind of configuration, um, right off the bat, we can use Pascal's theorem. So Pascal's theorem says if you have six points on a circle, which in this case we do, and you connect them all um, in one sort of one path. So B um, goes to, to A, goes to C, goes to C prime, goes to A prime, goes to B prime, back to B. So you have this like one connected path of all six points and it says certain intersection points um, will lie on a line, in this case Ni and M. So I'm going to write that out. Pascal's theorem would say that Ni and M are collinear. Um, so basically if you um, connect them all in the path that I said, so B to A to C to C prime to A to B prime back to B. Um, if you connect opposite segments in that path, so what would be the opposite segment to AB? Um, it would be, so since there's six segments, um, the first segment and the fourth segment would be kind of opposite. So B to A is the first, A to C is the second, C to C prime is the third, and C prime to A prime is the fourth. So the first and the fourth of those segments intersect at N, um, and you can similarly figure out that I and M are the other intersection points. Um, this happens to, in this case, it happens to be the way that the points are connected kind of makes it easier to see. So if you Another way to see it, if you group the top three points, C prime A and B prime, and B A prime and C prime, and for each point on the top, you connect it um, to the two opposite points on the bottom. So when I say opposite, uh, if this is point one, two, and three, and on the bottom we have point one, two, and three, then you'd want to connect the point one on, on the top three points to points two and three on the bottom, and the same with the others then the, the corresponding intersection points lie on a line. So Ni and M in this case. So I'll draw that in. And once we do that, the problem is really just a simple angle chase. So Pascal's theorem really um, just crushes the problem. Okay, so I'm going to do that angle chase now. Um, so first of all, um, angle NAI is equal to angle BAA prime. Um, and B A A prime is equal to C C prime A prime because 
um, they both intercept equal arcs. Since A prime is the midpoint of arc BC, the arc BA prime is equal to the arc A prime C, and so BA A prime has to equal C C prime A prime since they intercept equal arcs, and C C prime A prime is N C prime I. So we have N A I is equal to N C prime I, and so therefore N C prime A I has to be a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, and then once we have that, there's just one more step. So we want to show that MN is parallel to BC. So I'm going to use alternate interior angles. I'm going to try to show MIC is equal to ICB, and that's just simply an angle chase. So angle MIC is equal to angle NIC prime. And here's where we use the fact that NI and M are collinear, because in order for MIC to equal NIC prime, they have to be collinear. Okay, so that's the first step. And then NIC prime is equal to NAC prime because this is a cyclic quadrilateral. Um, and uh, NC prime AI is cyclic. And then NAC prime is equal to BAC prime, obviously. And that's equal to BCC prime since they both intercept the same arc um, BC prime. And BCC prime is equal to BCI. Uh, so we've shown what we wanted. We showed MIC is equal to BCI. And so MI has to be parallel to BC because those are alternate interior angles. Um, but that's the same as saying MN is parallel to BC. Um, and that solves the problem. Uh, so I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, it's going to be a shorter video, obviously. So I don't know if the, the short length of the video will give away that it's an easier problem. Um, but hopefully you learned something about Pascal's theorem. And uh, maybe later I'll do a video with a, a proof of it. Um, so um, I believe there's a whole bunch of proofs. So I'll have to figure out which one I like best. Um, but yeah, I like how this is just almost like the simplest application of it. So if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see uh, more videos like this, uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.